Hey guys, what's up, Pew Wolf here, and today I'm going to be doing another CMPC tutorial, guys, and this one is going to be over the inventory tab. So if we go into the inventory tab, it's not that complicated, to be honest, guys, but we need to cover something, so I thought, why not cover this? So, first off, right here we have my inventory. This does not pertain to the NPC whatsoever. This is just where you're going to put your items and blocks in order to put into all of these different sections right here in the NPC's inventory. So, guys, right here we are going to just start off with the armor for the NPC. So, basically, we can take the armor and just as you would for yourself, put it onto the NPC. You can also do any block for the head. So, if you want to have this placeholder, whatever you guys want right here. Here, you can do so. Okay guys, so now we are on to the weapons right here. So this first slot right here, if we put something into it, this is going to be the primary weapon. So as you can see, he's holding it like he would any other weapon if you were a normal player in the game. And so that's basically all this slot does. And guys, once again, this attack damage right here, that does not matter. All that matters is in the stats, melee options, whatever this number is, that's the actual strength of the attack. So don't worry about any of these numbers right here, like plus plus 10, plus 5, whatever, these do not actually affect anything, and this is just purely aesthetical, guys. So now if we go on to right here where this shield is, uh, as you can see I have a spear here, this is meant to be used for a shield, but you can also put in another weapon, so now he's like dual wielding both an axe and a spear, which is kind of odd guys, I don't know anyone who would do that, but hey, I'm not going to judge. And so this last part right here is only if your guy is actually shooting something, so let's say he's holding a bow right here, and you want him to be shooting arrows, you put an arrow in the slot, or in our case, if he's shooting something, he can magically shoot placeholders. Um, basically, this is just going to replace what that arrow is, so let's say he's doing a magical attack, you might want to replace this with some sort of magical item like maybe a fireball or something in order to have him actually shoot out a projectile rather than just shooting out your standard arrow. Now right here for min and max XP it's pretty self-explanatory. Right here we're just going to put 2, right here we're going to put 5, and all this means guys is basically whenever you kill this NPC he can drop anywhere from 2 to 5 XP so you can drop 2, 3, 4, or 5 XP when you kill him. Now right over here we have NPC inventory and this is not that complicated <laughs> Once again, guys, uh, so let's say we have a satchel here, we have some coins that we want them to drop, but we don't want them to drop all these all the time. Now, if you want them to drop all the time, let's, let's say the satchel is a quest item that you always want them to drop, keep it at 100. Now, for these bronze coins, they're not that rare, guys, so let's just turn it down a bit. So, 77% of the time when you kill him, he'll drop those silver, I mean iron coins, sorry about that, guys, are a little more pricey, so we only want him to drop it about 50% of the time. And these gold coins, they're super rare, so we want to drop it really low, so only 14% of the time will he drop those. Thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And just thank you guys so much for all the support you're giving this series, and I'll have another custom PC tutorial ready for you guys next Monday. So thank you all for watching, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Buh. Bye.